I thought this second set, they did a lot better maintaining their composure from the service line. Keno talked about composure being key for the Hurricanes on Friday night. Looking to extend into that today. And you can look at their stats and see a lot of that too. It's pretty much been a highlight reel for the middles today. Abby Cassiano, Janice Layout for the Hurricanes are playing exceptionally. Savannah Bach, of course, doing a great job getting those assists and putting the middles in position to hit one-on-one. -on -one. Doing great for the Canes to now be up 2-0. Looking to get another sweep yeah. tonight, their second in a row here in Coral Gables. Including a stop at a local soul food restaurant here in the city. Can confirm, it's delicious. I'm Cameron Dobbs, and this is the Miami Minute. We're here, we're here. We're getting pushed around a little bit, a little bit. One, two, three. Down. Flex on. There we go. That's, that's perfect. Yeah. We want to wish you a happy Hispanic Heritage Month. Joining me today is Olympic Sports Nutrition Coordinator Nate Diaz to help us out with a little bit of spice. I mean, I can't say I blame him. Go karting is pretty fun. In fact, I might go around one more time before I head back to the game. How does it feel to be back in front of some Hurricane fans? Uh, we've been a long time waiting. We're ready to get here. We're ready to get this show rolling. How do you feel the team has grown the most this spring? Um, I, I think the thing about this spring was they competed. I think I might have just found the oldest fan here. Check this guy out. All right, tell me about your friend. I've done Forrest Gump in the past and Michael Phelps. It's not, it's not a bad one. That's a that's quite a range right there. Yeah, Michael yeah, Phelps yeah. to Forrest Gump. Why the Cuban food? Because it's Miami. This what is the, the culture, baby. <laughs> this is the culture. Can we all taste something? You yeah. gotta do a little, you gotta gotta do a little taste. Yeah, gotta, oh, cheers. 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 All right, go Canes. It appears we have a popular talent amongst the group. Still, the most exciting talent has been watching Mississippi's Sullivan Reed absolutely dominate in the Derby. Bar. Just hold the bar. Yeah. And oh yeah, Great. I went all in. Just the top part. Okay. From learning chants. This is low-key really hard. <laughs> to getting a good workout in. I'm sweating. To practicing Hit. the alma mater. What might keep Florida Gator fans away from the stadium this weekend is the context of this Florida Gator football season. They started off with a heartbreaking yet hopeful two-point loss to number two ranked Alabama. Come on for the Canes once again and the team storms the court. My goodness, what a big swing. Out of system, out of rhythm and a set by Cassiano for the assist to get the final point for the Canes. Game, set, match, Miami. Russell Wilson on the run finds Dallas for his first touchdown of his career. Dallas wasn't done as he goes for another six points here and gets it with that extra little push. But as always, this cane stays cool, calm, and collected nonetheless. Hurricane fans, happy Hispanic Heritage Month. I'm Cameron Dobbs, and this is Cam on Cam. Elf on the shelf, yes or no? Yes. Yes? <laughs> yes. No. Absolutely not. That's your holiday hot take right there. What kind of mindset should you have coming back post pause? Uh, the, the biggest thing is... Take a look at this tiny table tennis talent. This tyke is only three years old and he has spent his time training since birth. I mean, just look at his footwork here. I think it's kind of working for me. Not sure if I'll be able to hit home runs now like Puerto Rico's Derek Sedano, but hey, I'll take what I can get. Heat down, Jimmy Butler, loose ball, saves it from out of bounds behind the back. Look at Butler, down low, wide open, and there he goes. Okay, smooth, talk about butter from Butler here. Coach Ron Rivera just had a big week of celebrating. On Sunday, his Washington football team beat the Dallas Cowboys, and on Monday, he marked a different milestone. Don't get me wrong, playing at an NFL stadium every Saturday of your college football career, and then maybe playing at that same NFL stadium every Sunday of your NFL career, that's pretty cool. But asking your students and local fans to all have to endure an hour long commute, even to home games, not as cool. Many spent their time writing pen pal letters. I'm Cameron Dobbs and this is the Miami Minute. Campus is nearly a ghost town. That's the only reason I married him. Yeah, that's it. That's it. <laughs> it was on the checklist. Husband has to be a Hurricanes fan. Yeah. All about the outside tonight. You see Angie Grieve for Miami killing the ball from all angles of the court. She has a great range of shots and she's gonna be their go-to girl tonight. She brings the energy, the fire, and as a leader on this team, she is their go-to hitter. You see that fired up energy right there. And on the opposite side of the court here, once again, another outside hitter, Paige Crawford. So you went to every single game I did, last yeah. year. What keeps you coming back? Um, definitely not the winning record. Um, uh, falling after her parents, her dad was actually a great Hall of Fame runner at Nebraska, where Danny Bespin Pelly used to be. But she followed after her mom's footsteps playing volleyball. And you can see her down in the courts in Jamaica playing on concrete. Now, she went to a great school. 
but because track was such the big name sport in Jamaica, volleyball only played on concrete courts. So red shirting at Louisville was in large part just to figure out how to play on volleyball courts.